Welcome to Weeping Willow Homestead. Today I have a food pantry haul for you. This is our small town church run food pantry that is open essentially every other week. It's twice a month. Um, you are allowed to come in both times and you can shop. They are only open those two days a month. Um, so you get to pick what you want, which is awesome because we can say yes to the things that we will use and no to the things that we won't. Uh, and the way it kind of works is like they'll have, if they have like the shelf of bread, you get to pick off like two loaves of bread kind of thing. They have the shelf of cereal, you might get to pick one or two cereals, that type of thing. So, uh, all right, um, I'm just going to jump in and do this. This is the one that I went to before. If I got there, as soon as they open, I would sit for two, three hours. Uh, the last time I got there at about 11 and I was in and out in under an hour. Um, this time I got there probably closer to noon and it's two o'clock now. And in fact, it's actually two fifteen. So, and that, well, but I've got like a 10 minute drive home. So, um, I definitely need to aim closer to the 11 o'clock time, but, uh, for the, at least the shortest wait. And then also while we were there, it cut loose and big lightning thunderstorm. So yay. Uh, so yeah. All right, I think that's everything. Let's jump in and do this because I haven't had lunch yet and I'm hungry. Um, fresh produce wise, awesome, awesome, awesome. We got two nice big crowns of broccoli, two things of huge, beautiful strawberries. You don't even see them that nice in the grocery store. I don't know where those came from, but man, those are nice looking. And then two things of romaine hearts. They are a little worse for the wear. That's why she gave me two. Uh, she said if they had like bagged lettuce mixes, like salad mixes, and I chose the romaine hearts, and she said, here, take two since they're looking a little bit um, not as healthy, so that's fine. Uh, whatever isn't great on them gets fed to our chickens, so they're still not going to waste. Um, there are three of these snack board, and it has cheese, um, looks like salami, yep, salami, chocolate, and olives. So I will put those as an option for the kids for a snack. A thing of split pea soup. I picked up another one of these the last time we were in there. And so I will just uh, toss that in the freezer. And one of these times when we have soup for dinner, which probably needs to happen soon because we are eking in toward uh, spring weather, uh, I will pull those out and that will be a soup option. This looked interesting. It said milk bar pie flavored. And it is deep vanilla ice cream with gooey butter filling and toasted oat crust. That sounds delicious at 22 carbs for two-thirds of a cup. It's not happening for me, which is fine, but my kids will probably thoroughly enjoy that. Uh, a thing of the frozen mashed potatoes. Love those. Great, quick, and easy side. I'm actually going to throw that one in the refrigerator and do it for probably dinner um, Saturday night. This, we got to choose a pound of ground beef. They had ground deer meat. They had Beyond Meat sausage things. And then they had these. And these are chicken wings. And it's been at some point they've had a larger bag of chicken wings that they just separated out. They're not pretty looking, but we'll eat them. I'm fine with it. I'll have to thaw them out beforehand because it looks like they're the whole wing. They're not like separated. Uh, a thing of good culture probiotic cream cheese spread in strawberry, which is awesome because you'll see later we got bagels. A thing of organic American cheese slices. So somehow they made um, American not healthy cheese slightly healthier by making it organic. I don't know how. Baby stuff, they had a bunch this time. They don't get a whole lot of babies. They tend to serve more adults and um, elderly. So uh, anytime we're in there, they're like, take baby stuff. So they had four different shelves, and we got to pick four different things. So there are these freeze-dried um, pear slices. Four of these, they're essentially just peach yogurt, um, and my kids liked those for snacks. These waffles, organic stone ground wheat snack, those could be interesting. Um, I'm wondering if you couldn't make like a peanut butter sandwich out of them. And then a sleeve of the squeezy pouches, and I did the peas, zucchini, and pears because, or peas, pears, zucchini, and peas. Let's read that in order uh, because my four-year-old still thinks these are just the greatest thing ever. She slowed down a little bit over the last couple of months, I would say. Uh, a lot of this almond milk, which is awesome because my kids like it and we are out of milk in the house right now, or almost. There is some oat milk and then these zero sugar 
Gatorade packets, Propel. I thought Propel and Gatorade were two different brands. Maybe not. Huh, I don't know. Um, another one of the Spindrift of the mango and tea flavored. This was a, she's like, nobody else is taking this. Why don't you take a case of it? Take it home, see what it tastes like. Um, it's a no from us across the board. Everybody thought it was gross. Now, my husband, when he gets home, he may try it and we'll see. He is generally not a sparkling water fan, but maybe he'll like it. Uh, it's bitter um, because of the hops, and she warned me that that's what it was going to be. So I told her, I said, we'll take some. Uh, all of the kids tasted it. Two of them said it tasted like grass. So there you go. I don't know. Um, and then this was a meh for most of the kids, but I liked it. And at only one carb, I can drink it. It's strong, like very potent flavored so um it's one that i would probably mix like one of these and into my water for the day or something like that because it's yeah it was it was pretty potent flavored and then there are two dark chocolate ultra filtered lactose free milk in a can we'll see about those i didn't go ahead and open one of those yet i should have um, that's one of the fun things about going to the food pantry is that you get to taste test a whole lot of weird stuff. They had um, a local CVS donate a whole lot of expired or close to expired things. That's not expired. Um, that's almost expired. Yeah, I think that's probably what it is. Is It's things that's almost expired or things that they just have too much of on the shelf. I'm not seeing an expiration date on that at all. So I chose two of these um, natural toothpastes, some naproxosodium. That's something that my husband takes. Some, um, a thing of electrolyte uh, drink because you just never know when a stomach bug is going to hit. So figured that would be something helpful to have on hand. Some... Protein powder is protein powder. Um, the kids use it to do smoothies, and then I make some protein popsicles with it sometimes. Uh, and then I picked up one of these before, and taste-wise, it's not bad. I don't know if it's doing anything yet, but we're going to try another one. And um, another of the cough and cold combo pack for you never know when you're going to get sick. So that is round one. I'm going to get this cold stuff especially put away. I'm going to put away everything, but uh, I'm going to focus on getting that cold stuff put away and then I will be back with round two of the shelf stable snacky stuff that's what we get a lot of from the food pantry um, they do as good as they can on making sure that you're getting some produce some canned goods those kind of things but um, we do get a lot of snacky stuff I get that comment quite often especially from new viewers wow that's a lot of junk food yes I understand this the food pantry is not meant to be your only food source this is to supplement grocery budget or to supplement if you get food stamps, something along those lines. What it does for us is that it supplements some of this healthier stuff. And then for us, it allows us to spend our whole grocery budget on generally the healthier foods, the fruits and veggies, the meats. Um, we don't buy a whole lot of snack items. We don't buy a whole lot of, I very rarely have to buy bread or chips or pastas, those kind of things. And so for us, it allows us to have our grocery budget be focused on the healthier items. And we get the snacky type stuff, the junk food, the, you know, the pastas, those kind of things from the food pantry. So, all right, I'm going to put this up. That's my little spiel in the middle of this video instead of at the end like it usually is. So I will be right back for you. For me, it's going to be like five minutes. All right, round two, and we packed it on there. We did go ahead and try that chocolate milk in a can. Uh, hit and miss. Some of them liked it, some of them did not. So take that with what you will. Uh, so we got two things of bread. We did some blueberry bagels and then just some um, ancient mighty grains bread. Yeah, it's all bread. And then these looked interesting, these rosemary bread sticks. So I will find something to serve those with. Maybe even just with, like, lunch as a, I don't know. We'll see. Three things of chips. We chose these Pringles, and I'm assuming that these are just, um, I think, Spanish. Yeah. And they are the onion, chive, 
sour cream, whatever those are. My brain's starting to shut down. These cosmic cheddar poofs that my kids just think are the coolest. A giant bag of salt and vinegar, which made uh, most of my kids happy. A thing of the Kashi blueberry almond. This stuff is delicious. Um, you didn't see this. These don't exist. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, just lost a bag. Uh, it's fine. Uh, three things of these milk chocolate covered raisins, which my kids will be ecstatic about. Two more of these strawberry licorice, which most of them like. And I have a kid helping. You don't have to put it back up there. It's fine. Oh, okay, now we're knocking stuff off this end. Um, six bars of these. Yeah, just leave it off. Uh, six bars of these chocolate peanut caramel things that are pretty good. Uh, a baggie of saltine crackers. Two things of taco seasoning and two things of ranch dip mix. We use those. I need to actually make them into the ranch dip mix. Uh, but we've used them to make that uh, Mississippi pot roast that you can use those for. A thing of protein bars. Some sipping bone broth and it's like four little packets that you mix with water and I thought those would be nice because I like having bone broth in place of um coffee like in the morning so I might do those a thing of sunflower oil two things of Sir Kensington's avocado oil vegan mayo I don't know how they got it vegan because normally you put eggs in mayo, but that's fine. I My kids aren't huge fans of this, but if I use it in like making um, like honey mustard dressing, that kind of thing, then they don't mind it. And I don't mind the flavor of it at all. Uh, the thing of parchment paper I'm so excited about because I love using parchment paper to um, make for easy cleanup like if I'm cooking fish or something like that I will lay that down uh, but it's not something I generally purchase because it's kind of a waste of money because you're just throwing it away so getting it for free I am very very happy about that blessing uh, we have a thing of sliced peaches a thing of creamy peanut butter there are two cans of peas two cans of black beans and one can of pasta sauce a thing of ramen noodles and I did notice that that is busted so I will look it over and kind of decide it did not I don't think it busted on the way home we'll see whether I use that or whether I could even just cook it and feed it to the chickens if I feel uncomfortable feeding it to the kids uh, a 10 pack of these are peanut butter and jelly let's see if I can open it without making a mess here no not really um they are peanut butter and jelly like things that you can make a sandwich with I thought those would be nice for something that my husband could take in the truck with him uh, so there's 10 of those in there a thing of chocolate chips uh, some of these that I thought might be interesting to do for Chinese one night a box of mac and cheese some more of that red lentil spaghetti noodles if I can ever get my kids talked into spaghetti for dinner. Um, some orzo. These are fun. Uh, cook it with um, in broth and they taste really good. And that almost has a, um, that one rice dish that you cook. I don't remember what it is called now. But it gets really creamy and, and yummy and makes just like a neat side. They're also fun to put in soup. We opened, okay, all of this row is things that are expired and they said take as much as you want. So I picked up one of these. Um, they expired in January and we already tried them. They're pretty good. They're kind of a mild flavor, but they're plantain chips, um, so they're slightly sweet. Uh, there's two bags of the blue corn tortilla chips, and then there were three bags, one's on the floor now, of this Mesa Sunrise with raisins, and we have gotten these before, and they taste very similar to, um, Raisin Bran, and my oldest has already said she's gonna have that with that almond milk for snack today because she likes those, so. That is everything. Um... Yeah, huge blessing once again. I am not going to drag this out because, like I said, it is almost 3 o'clock now and I'm hungry. So um, we're going to get this show on the road. But um, if you need help, there is a link in the show notes of this video of how to find food pantries in your area. Please seek it out. They are there. They want to love on you. 90% of this stuff was destined for the trash can because that's what most of this food pantry gets. They get, like, some stuff that's donated... Um, 
locally, but the majority of it is things that were headed for the dumpster because it is almost expired or expired or overstocked or, you know, for whatever reason. Yeah, those ex are best by, let's keep that in mind, not expired, best by September of last year. Uh, things that are on the shelf that um, the grocery store can't get rid of, can't sell in time, and so they send them to the food pantry and we get to use them. So, uh, you're saving food from the dumpster. You're saving your family some money. You're getting to try some unique and weird and un and interesting things. And yeah, it's all good. So thank you so much for watching this. I hope you have a great day. Goodbye and God bless.